Hey, what's up guys? We are back and today we're going to go into some quick tips and tools that you need to edit an iMovie with your phone. I'll be going over the basics for how to plan, edit, and export your videos using your phone in iMovie and everything I've learned along the way that'll help you get started from the very beginning. And as always, if you guys would like me to do more tutorials on iMovie or anything specific in any editing software, feel free to reach out to me. In the sections below and specifically for iMovie, I'm getting comments and likes every single day, so thank you guys for that. We just hit 100 subscribers and over 5,000 views that's awesome and we've just been doing this a few short weeks so I really appreciate your support now I also wanted to reach out and say I'm officially open for business so if you need more personalized one-on-one -on -one help I'm more than happy to help you out with that as well I'll leave something in the description down below for you to click on for the link and we can set up a time to connect that way I'll be able to know exactly how to help you so if you're looking for more of that personalized teaching I'll be there to help you then also I know you may not have time to do this yourself so if you're a youtuber if you're a business owner, if you're both of those things, I understand that it can take a lot of time, especially with the learning curve for video editing, and it does take a lot of practice and effort. So if you are someone who doesn't have the schedule and has the budget to do so, I would suggest hiring a video editor. If you want to, go ahead and click that link or just connect with me in the comments down below, and I would be happy to edit those videos for you. That's kind of what I do here. So with that said, let's go ahead and hop into it. I'll show you everything you need to know to get started with iMovie on your iPhone. So you know me, I'm a big organizer and planner. So what we're gonna do first today is we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how to save all of your content before you upload the videos. So to do that, let's go ahead and go to the camera roll or the photos here, and I'm gonna click on photos. And what we wanna do here is go over here to the main section for the albums. We're gonna go ahead and click on the plus button. Now, when you record all of your clips here, what I like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and create an album for those specific video clips. And we're just going to go ahead and name this test video. Okay, so from there, let's say if I'm doing a vertical video like this, I'll just go ahead and click this one and we will add it to our test video folder. Click done. And you will see this happen right here where it created this folder called test video. You now have the clip that you need to get started with your video. Now also the same thing goes for this, if you're adding extra graphics and you're not a huge fan of the graphics inside iMovie, go ahead and get a Canva account. There is a free option and there's a paid option, so go ahead and grab that. And from there, you can actually export those graphics to be in your video too. You'll do the same thing here. Just save it to your camera roll and put it in that folder. So now let's go ahead and go to iMovie. So we'll exit out of that and go to our iMovie app. So if you watch my other video for the Mac, the same thing goes here. We're gonna tap on the plus icon for the new and we will create the movie. All right, so from here, you can pretty much go to your moments and select your clips, but what you can also do here is click back on the media. We will go to albums, and then you're gonna find it down here on test video. Now just select the images. For us, we only have the one clip today, just to keep it nice and simple, and then you're gonna hit create movie. All right, so now as you can see, just like our other desktop video, we have our clip from beginning to end, and this brings us into our editing interface. So we have two main sections. We have the preview window, that's the screen up here that'll show us our video clip. And then down here on the bottom section, we have our timeline, and that's where we'll do all of our editing. So let's go over the buttons real quick. If you click on this play button, it's gonna play your video from start to finish. And if you pause it, it'll pause it. Now this button on the left here will rewind it back to the beginning for you and you can start it from the very first clip. If you click the plus icon, you can actually import new footage and that's just like our other screen where you can go into photos or background, audio. That's basically everything you need for your menu to import the footage. Now this little U-turn icon over here is the back button. So if you like mess up anything you want, let's say if you did something like this where you split it and you didn't know what the heck you did, you can just go ahead and click on this undo button and it'll reset it back one step. Now, just a word of caution, I'm not sure if you can actually step forward on this just backwards, so make sure you're careful that you actually do everything that you want to be doing because you don't wanna edit or undo any work that you liked. So make sure you're careful with that button, you don't push it too many times, so that way you'll still be able to keep all the settings that you already did. Now, if you hit this little settings gear down here on the bottom, that's gonna open up some more settings. 
And this is just like the settings icon in the desktop app. So you can actually click on different filters for your video at the top here. You have different themed for theme videos over down here. You have a theme soundtrack, fade in from black, fade out from black, and speed changes pitch. We will go into those later. For now, just remember that these are your main project settings, and there's a few different filters that are on there. So click done for now. Now let's say if you're already done with editing your video, we'll get into here in a little bit, we'll click on this done on the top left. So this is where you can export and preview your file. If you click on this play button, this will play back your preview. And that just means it'll play all of the changes that you have done so far on your movie. If you hit this edit button in the middle, this edit button will go right back into your editing screen so you can make more changes. And then there's three buttons at the bottom here as well. You have the save or upload button in the middle. On the right side is the trash button. And then on the left side is the preview button. So you have the play button in the middle of your preview screen. If you hit on this left one, it does the exact same thing and you can preview your video side to side. Now, when you want to upload your video and save it, you'll go ahead and click this middle one and you'll just select the destination that you want to, either it be any of your apps up here or you can actually save video in the middle here right under copy and that will save it to your camera roll for you to upload later. If you wanna upload using your computer, go ahead and just airdrop it. If you airdrop it, it makes it super easy to upload to everything all at once. So let's go ahead and keep on editing our video. We'll hit the edit button and go right back into it. Now, if you're curious about anything at all, what you wanna do here is go ahead and click that question mark on the top right side and that'll have different explanations for the sections on your screen. So just like my video here, this will give you a quick reflection on all the different parts if you forget anything. All right, so now that we know the general buttons, let's actually edit this video and go through all those settings here. So if you tap on the clip, it'll open up all your different options for how you can edit the screen. You have on the bottom menu there, you have the scissors, you have that little speedometer, the volume button, the text button, and these three little dots over here. On that middle menu, it says split, detach, duplicate, and delete. Now a split allows you to chop up your video in all the sections. So let's say if you have a middle section you don't like, you're gonna click and hold with your thumb and slide from left to right. And that'll allow you just to go through your video. Now, make sure you tap on the clip and click split on the section that you don't like. And then you can go through and slide over to the other edge. Maybe it's right here where that's where it comes in again the right way. Tap that part again on the right side and click split again. From there, you're gonna take out this middle section now by tapping on the middle section and then you're just gonna hit the delete button. Now, as you notice, when I play this, it's gonna go ahead and play it on the top screen here and you're gonna skip from the first section to the second section, but it won't miss a beat. Now you just cut out all the bad stuff. All right, there you go. Now I'll just reset that to keep the rest of this really simple for you. And we're gonna go ahead and hit detach now. Now, if you wanna see like a bigger view of what your audio actually looks like for this video, you'll hit this detach button. And this separates the video from the audio. So now the audio is gonna play at the same time, but now you'll be able to isolate just the audio clip for the video for things like background music or sound effects or whatnot. This will just help it separate a little bit better. Now the next thing is duplicate and duplicate will literally copy and paste this clip onto the next section. So I'm gonna tap on this clip again, hit duplicate. And then now you can see that we have two clips here and it doubled our time at the very end. So now it's 28 seconds. So we have our first 14 seconds and our second 14 seconds, but it'll be the exact same clip. Okay, now the next button over here is the speed icon, and this is gonna tell you how fast or slow your video goes. So if you're at 1x, that's normal, and you can speed that up to things like two, or you could slow it down. If you're doing regular video though, you can just stick out one. You can also freeze, add, or reset. Mostly I don't touch those settings though, but this might be really cool if you wanna do a time-lapse thing for maybe like cooking or car videos or things like that. Now, if you hit this volume icon over here in the middle, this will allow you to control all the different volume settings. Again, if you have more things like background music, this will be really helpful because you can balance all the different settings. So for this, if you have your main audio, maybe push your main audio up to 
to around 200-300 and then your sound effects you can have um, under here maybe about 30 to 40 percent and your background music and then the text icon is right here now if you slide this from left to right you'll notice it has an entire menu of options and that's super cool because you can find all the different things let's go ahead and type on slide and it looks like it fades out right there about the first few seconds that's actually perfect so what I'm gonna do here is we're just gonna go ahead and tap on the screen and you can use your finger and hold it down and move it around on the screen and that'll give you the different positions so what I'll do is if you double tap on the text you can hit edit and you can change this so if I have a point here I'll just say for example right now we're talking about text so I'll just type in text and then move it around to like the bottom third and now you can see here going to the beginning if I hit play you'll see that text appear and then it'll go away and there you go you have the text preset done for you now if you want to see this just go ahead and tap on the clip and you can change this so if we want to do something like split this is a pretty cool one as well go ahead and drag this to beginning and hit play and you'll see it comes on the screen like that so that will be something super easy to add with your text. Now the other thing is just three circles and for this one, this will give you all the effects. If you notice, this looks very similar to your little settings icon. They don't have many different ones on iPhone, unfortunately. So if you wanna do something like pauses for effect, you can like clip the middle. So we'll go here, we'll clip this part. And then we'll clip this part and then select just the middle portion and we'll change this to black and white. Now you can see that from the first part here, it changes to black and white, and then it goes right back. And that's how you'd add different video effects. So now that you know all the main buttons, we'll keep it nice and simple here. Let's just go through and edit the video. So if this was something of an actual video I would use, I would go ahead and click on this clip if you use two fingers, you can use two fingers and pinch that and spread them out. This will zoom and unzoom. Very similar to like zooming in for Instagram or anything else. So I'm gonna tap on this clip. If let's say if I didn't like this uh, first section here, I'm gonna go ahead to where I start to say the sentence. And I'm just going to split this first part out. Hit delete. And then if I don't like any of the middle sections like here, I'll go ahead and split that. And then I'll go through over here and split that over here. Okay, so let's say I have all these split clips now. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these two middle sections. All right, and there we go. Okay, so let's say all of these are good. Now let's talk about transitions really quickly. If you see this line in the middle of the two clips, go ahead and tap on that little icon there. This will give you different transitions on the menu here. So you have theme, dissolve, slide, wipe, and fade. All these are pretty good. So let's go ahead and dissolve on the first one. And I'm gonna go in here in the middle there and we're gonna split that. And let's say if we have one right here too, let's go ahead and hit slide. And you'll see how those work. So here's the first one with dissolve. And you'll see it just like shifted one to the other. If you hit slide, this is how slide looks. There we go, that's pretty cool. All right, now you can do these as many times as you like. Obviously longer videos, it'll take longer to do, but go ahead and split all of the sections you don't like out from the beginning to end all the way through. And then from there, if you wanna add these transitions in the middle, you can do that as well. So now let's go ahead and add a super easy transition for the beginning and the end. Let's say if you wanted to start right here now, I'm just gonna go ahead into the settings here and we're gonna hit fade in from black, fade out from black. And this way it'll give us basically a dissolve fade and that way it'll start from the black and it'll have a nice little transition to end it and to start it. And then towards the end, here's how the end looks. Perfect, cool. So I'll just do a little simple things like that. Um, go ahead and do that for your first video. Don't try to do anything extra than that for the cutting right now. Keep it super simple. Cut out the middles, maybe add a few nice transitions that look good, and then do the front fade and fade at the end. 
Now, I know that was just a quick glance over, so if you need any help at all, don't hesitate to reach out, leave a comment down below, or send me a quick message, and I will be happy to help you with anything that you guys have questions on. And let me know, what kind of videos are you guys making on iMovie right now? I'd love to see them, feel free to uh, send them over to me, and I can help give you some critiques, or just watch them and tell you what you're doing great at, that would be super cool as well. And like I said before, I am here to help if you want to get some personal coaching, or if you're too busy and you want someone to do this for you, I would be happy to help as well. Feel free to like and comment and I will get to those messages as soon as I can and I'd be happy to help. Now if you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell icon so you are the first to know when these videos come out. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.